So first, to make this, we can hide this. I'm going to put a new collection here. We need the reference image. So go on the pad one to go on the minus X. So directly the reference image is going to drop here on this view. So shift A and then image and reference. Get the image. You have the link in the description to get access to the folder, my um, Google Drive folder with all the images for all the tutorials. And I got this on the website dimensions.com. If you want more website to get reference images, to get textures, materials, um, characters, animations, uh, a lot of things, you have the link to my 3D resources also in the description. So you get this image, I'm going to put a little uh, the, the opacity down here in the properties of the image. Put this a little down. Now, shift A, mesh, we can put a cylinder. And here in vertices, I put 16. Do you have less vertices here? And then we can put a subdivision surface on this. And cap field type, I put nothing. So we don't have a not field here, like this. Now I can put this smaller and the image, I can move it like this. So this is at the center, S, like this, like this. And here we can see the thickness of the bottle. So we have this tab to go in edit mode and we need to go in x-ray. So we get this G, Z. We can put this um, up like this and then here we can do a bevel to round this part. Now E to extrude, escape and S to extrude like this. So go on the side and go in vertex select to see the points. Like this, you can go here, E, extrude up on the Z axis, like this. And now this we can bring down GZ, like this. Now we need to add thickness to this. So we can go in the modifiers and put the solidify modifier. Like this, and first. When you go in object properties, you see the scale is not at one because we made this smaller. So we need to have it at one. So get your, your cylinder, come on A, apply scale. And you see the thickness here. Go in the modifier, even thickness, put it um, like this at 0.03. And now, this part, we need to run this. But first, we can add a subdivision surface to make this smooth and have more geometry. So subdivision surface here. And you see now, it's not, it, is, it doesn't follow the shape because we need to add more loop cuts. And this, we can put this like this. So get the cylinder. First, Alt click on this so we can bevel this. Control B to bevel and we can uh, scroll up or down. We can put like um, three like this to create this shape. And you see when you put the subdivision now, this is thinner. So you can scale this up to make it bigger and follow the image. Now we have this and we need to put other loop cuts here. So this, the shape is good here. So control R here, put one up here. Control R, we can also put one down here. Put one here to support the this shape like this so we see here 
put this up like the shape is like this and also we need to put one down here for this so control R like this and this we need to create a face here so alt click on this here F to create a face you can do I do a little inset like this and also what we can do before doing a inset so we are going to undo we can bevel to make this round so this alt click gz we can bring it up get this control b to a little bevel like um two segments like this like this add click on this gz put this down here and now here you can do face select select this i do a little inset and then this face x delete the face and we want to have a grid here and not just one big face so we get edge select add click select these and then in face we want to put grid fill now it is a grid like this and the shape is pretty good we can um, do a to select everything and put this bigger because it is smaller with the subdivision so s shift z because we don't want to scale on z only on x and y axis like this I want to put this bigger like this and don't forget to save here now the shape is pretty good now we, we need to make the top part so to make the top part shift a we can bring a cylinder and also we are in object mode and then vertices we can put less because this is smaller than this so i think we can put way less um eight here and fill cap nothing now s this here bring this up go in x-ray so we are going to see better like this tab edit mode get these g z like this s um, first get everything s shift z we'll bring this like this here then we need to get this and do s because this is smaller like this now we are going to extrude and then scale extrude up extrude up and then scale to make the shape so we have this selected e escape s like this and in um in vertex selection mode in this we can see the points here now e z like this e escape s like this e z like this and then s like this now first we check the scale here so it is not at one so we can do command a to apply the scale then go in the modifiers and we can add a little thickness to this add modifier solidify here even thickness we can put like um, two like this and then we can add a subdivision like this and also this one the first um, cylinder this one we put the solidify first and then the subdivision so we can check if we put this after it is better so this is um, flat now so it depends on what you want like this or like this i prefer like this 
So I'm going to put like this, the subdivision first and then the solidify. And I can do the same on top here for this part. Now you, you see the shape, we need to add loop cuts to this. So edit mode, um, control R, here we can put uh, one here and here on this part and do a bevel here alt click this control b and also we can a to um, select everything and then, and then scale s shift z like this and also we scaled on edit mode so when we scale in edit mode it is not affecting the scale here so now we can add loop cuts uh, not loop cuts but we can alt click bevel like this put um two or three maybe three like this now here this is um sharp here and we can close this So control R one here, bring it down. This one, bring it up. Now we need also here. So we can disable the, uh, all of these on the viewport. It's going to be faster. So one here, one here, because this is sharp one down here uh, we can put also one here and one up here and maybe one here we're going to see now the shape is pretty good uh, we can save put back the solidify here and in the render we can put at um, three maybe this and this so it's going to be very smooth right click shade smooth right click shade smooth here now we can um, move the image you get the image G X hit here so now we can get this and we can put it down G Z like this and also right now the shading the shading is a little weird because we have the level with viewport at one and you see if we put it at three for the render is going to be like this so now we have everything we can parent these two so when we move this this is moving too so click on this shift click on the big part that you want to move and then control p set parent to object keep transform like this so now the small part is following this the big part now we can put the materials on this so we can hide the image and also my first collection i can hide so we can go in material preview and here this is going to be simple we are going to put a red material material new base color and put um, more saturation and the hue it is at zero to get pure red so maybe we can put a little less saturation or at one like this we need to add little um roughness um specular we can put mm, like this and what i did in my previous one is i put the um i think it was the clear coat i put like this and this i put a little up like this so this is going to be red uh, bottle 
And my first one, I have it here, it was material. And I put um, red, I put specular at 0.2. And here I put an image to put um, finger, fingertips on this. And this I put at 0 0.7, 0 0.2. Uh, so now I'm going to change back to the red bottle. A little down. Now, if you want, if you want to make little fingertips on this, first we need to um, unwrap uh, this. So go in solid and go in UV editing. And here I already have an image that I put. If you want this image, the grid, go here on top and you will have a new to create a new image. Here, new. Create a new image, UV grid. I'm going to put another one and generate a type. Put UV grid or you can put color grid if you want. So I'm going to put color grid this time. Color grid. Okay. Now you have a color grid here. And if you want to see it on your object, you need to go in the materials and then here in the color, you need to put your image. So image texture, I put my image, my color grid here. And it's going to be on top like this. And you see at the bottom, it is a little stretched. And also with the subdivision, it is stretching a little bit like this. But if you want to make your render like this, we are not going to see. So you can unwrap if you want. I have the, um, my previous tutorial was to how to unwrap. So you can check it if you don't know how to unwrap, but I'm going to leave like this. So I can do the render at minus Y like this. And then this one, we are going to put the same. Uh, we can put the UV grid right now, uh, not the UV grid, the color grid. Uh, so the red bottle material. And this, we need to unwrap. But you see, it is a little, it is a stretch like this. So what we can do is go on the view here. So the render is going to be like this. So go on the other view to make the cuts. tab and then edge select you can get this right click um, mark sim and also we can get this mark sim um, like this A U and wrap now when the subdivision is going to be at three, going to be like this. So I think this is pretty good. And put back at one. And now we can um, create the little scratches if you want. So put back um, this, the color grid we can X, put back the um, red. You can Google fingertips roughness maps and then you'll have a lot of fingertips. You can download, for example, fingertips 001, it's going to be like this. Oh, there are a lot more. These, these. I'm going to get these. You can click download uh, in 1K or 2K. Want more? And then here, Shift A, search image, connect the color to the roughness, and here put your fingertip image. So I already have mine here. 
and in color space you need to put non color now you see we see a little bit here but what we need to do is put the mapping so do control t to put the mapping the texture coordinate and you need to have the node wrangler add-on enabled here node wrangler put this and then if you want to have less or have more what i put is i always put the invert node this one shift a search for invert then it's going to invert the roughness and i put like like this if i just want a little bit like points one like this then to have little scratches i just get this shift d duplicate i look for a scratch material so here you can go in ambient cg or you have all the websites for um, textures on my 3d resources so you have the link if you want to um, get the list search um scratch so all the material with scratches i think i used and um, maybe this one or this one so i'm going to get for example this one and here i download it i'm going to put to get the um, 1k 1k png then on your uh, in, in the folder you have all of this and we need the normal so this one bring this here the fingertip we don't want this color space put non-color shift a search for a normal map connect this to color and connect normal to normal here and we need to put the mapping and texture coordinates so we connect this to this and now you see they are a little scratched here we can see if you want less or you want to put more you can adjust the strength here for the scratching I'm going to put at um, 0.8 Like this and now that's it and you get your camera you get this um r r i'm going to rotate uh, for example like this get the camera so my camera is here i'm going to move it on my collection too here G Z uh, G G like this, and we need to put an HDR image. So I put um, I got this environment texture, and then I opened an HDR, and you also have the list to a lot of HDR in my resources, and then the camera I put focal length to more so it is zoomed like this and you, if you want to put a depth of field to have the background a little blurry but i didn't put any background so to have the transparent background you can go in render properties and then go in film click transparent and i am in cycles here render i am at 250 and also in color management i put high contrast i put a little more exposure and gamma a little down so i'm going to get this and then you can get you can click render and render image to render if you want to learn how to sell your 3d models online how to upload to marketplaces how to optimize your models how to create models to sell on marketplaces you still have um, one day left, uh, two, day, two days left to get my course models to sell. So you can go on my website, 
click on this and you have a discount and get uh, check everything that you are going to learn on this and click by the course and enter the coupon code 3d models to get access to the course and you have two guarantees on the course you have three bonuses this is all you are going to learn so we are going to learn create models that are optimized to sell marketplaces all of this we are going to model an item to sell so if you don't have any models we are going to completely model an item that we are going to put to upload on marketplaces we are going to export in different formats we are going to upload and to sell i'm going to show you how you can apply to have a seller account on marketplaces so you have the link the first link in the description you get access to this and i will see you in the course or in another video bye